Hi, this is Olencelot, and today I'm going to do another one of my thought chains for you. And this is a little chain of people, and today they've all got roller skates on. Now, when I was a kid, and I used to go roller skating, they didn't even have roller blades yet. I used to go rollerblading when I got older, but they didn't have them when I was a kid. Instead, we had these shoes that looked like bowling shoes. Only they had these big, heavy weights on the bottom and four wheels. But we loved them. And when I was a kid, what I used to think was that girls liked to roller skate. And they used to go roller skating every weekend. So maybe if I went roller skating, Maybe the girls would like me. And maybe we could fall in love and be happy. And so, some of the time we'd go roller skating at this place called Rainbow Skating. And at Rainbow Skating, it was basically just this big room with a wooden floor and you could skate on it and pretty much just go in circles but they had this disco ball at the top. And when they turned that disco ball on, that meant something special. When the light was on the disco ball, it was time for romance. So when we were at Rainbow Skating, they'd have this thing they called the snowball where they would play these love songs on the radio and all the boys would stand on one side of the room and all the girls would stand on the other side. And we would dare each other to skate over and pick out a girl to try and skate with. And we'd look at them and wonder, out of all these girls, which one should I pick? And the whole time we skated, we would think about the snowball because there was a chance that you could skate around with a girl and hold her hand, which is why we all went there in the first place. This one time, my friend, he decided that number four was the hot chick. So he skated over there, and he was really nervous and excited. And unfortunately, he was going too fast. So when he reached out his hand to hold hers, he fell right on his face. And all those girls started giggling at him, and so all of us guys started laughing too. So he came back over next to us, and... We all just stood there and stared across the room and I don't think anybody went and picked another girl after that. But when the snowball was over, I was skating really fast trying to show off and show how good of a roller skater I could be. I was going really fast this one time and I came around the turn and there was this little chubby kid sitting on the ground and he had his hand up towards me with one leg sticking out one way and the other leg behind him because he crashed and he was yelling no because I was about to crash it right into his face so I did the one cool thing I could do I jumped over the top of him and it was gonna be awesome but the problem is is that even though I landed on one foot the other foot landed on the brake and I fell and my butt hit right on the wheel of my roller skate and I heard a loud snap. And what happened was I just laid there underneath the disco ball grabbing my butt while everybody stood around on their skates and stared at me while I yelled, ah! And I found out later that what had happened was this little tip of my tailbone, it had cracked. So when I went back to school the next day, I was in a lot of pain. It was hard to walk and I couldn't even sit down. So my mom gave me this pillow to sit on. And everywhere I went in school, and every time I sat down, I had to sit on a pillow and I was kind of a dork. So I guess 
if a disco ball is pretty equal to romance, then that means a butt pillow is the opposite. And it means people just laugh at you. And you won't have romance. Well, that's the end of this thought chain. And I want to tell you guys to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you like it. I do these every Sunday and every day on our Fam Damley channel, we do daily videos. And they're awesome. I'd love it if you went and checked it out. Thanks. Oh, let's a lie. <laughs>